Krishna Janmashtami, the story of Lord Krishna's birth. Hare Rama Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare Hare. Jaya Sarai Krishna. Krishna Janmashtami, according to the tale, Krishna was born in the Yadwa clan of Mithra to Queen Denki and her husband, King Vasudeva. Janmashtami, also known as Krishna Janmashtami or Gokulashtami, is a major Hindu festival in India and celebrates the birth of Lord Krishna, who happened to be the eighth incarnation or Adava of Lord Vishnu, the supreme god of the Hindus. The eighth day of the Bhadrapad month or Ishtami as per Hindu lunar calendar marks Janmashtami, and will be celebrated on August 30th this year. It is believed that Krishna was born in a dungeon of Mithra, Uttar Pradesh, on this day at the clock struck midnight. Krishna is the god of love, tenderness and compassion. Hindu mythology portrays him as a prankster, a gentle lover, a universal supreme being and childlike god. The narrative and stories of Lord Krishna's life are referred to as Krishna Leela. According to the tale, Krishna was born in the Yadwa clan of Mithra to Queen Denki and her husband, King Vasudeva. Devi had a brother, Kasa, a tyrant, who along with some other demon kings was terrorizing Mother Earth. Kasa had usurped the throne of Mithra from his father, the benevolent King Ukrasen. Mother Earth took the form of a cow and went to Lord Brahmar, the creator god of Hinduism, with her plight. Lord Brahma then summoned Lord Vishnu, who assured Mother Earth that he would take birth as Lord Krishna to end this tyranny. Kasa agreed to let Devi get married to Yadwa Prince Vasudeva in the hopes of taking over the Yadwa clan too. When Devi was getting married, Kasa was told by fortune tellers that one of the offsprings of Devi would bring his end. In his paranoia, Kasa brandished his sword and decided to kill Devi right there and then. But after Vasudeva begged for his wife's life and promised to hand each child to Kasa as soon as it was born, Kasa let go of his sister, and instead imprisoned Devi and Vasudeva, and made sure that none of Devi's children survived. As soon as a child was born to Devi, Kasa would smash the child's head against the walls of the prison. However, on the night of Krishna's birth, as soon as Krishna was born, a bright light filled the prison and Vasudeva was woken up by a divine voice that guided him to take Krishna across the Yamuna and leave him with his dear friend Nandraja, the head of the Gopa tribe. Nandraja and his wife Yashoda had also given birth to a baby girl that night, so Vasudeva secretly carried baby Krishna across the Yamuna river, which was no longer in its calm state, but instead was raging as if it were the ocean. Just then Lord Vishnu's Sheshnard, the giant multi-headed snake came and helped Vasudeva carry Krishna safely across the river. Vasudeva went to Nandraja's house and exchanged the babies. His heart was filled with a deep sadness, as if he had left a part of his soul behind. He headed back to the prison with the exchanged baby, who gave a loud cry as soon as she lay next to Devi. The guards informed Kasa that Devi's eighth child was finally born. Devi begged Kasa not to kill the baby, she pleaded that the prophecy must have been wrong as her son was meant to bring the end of Kasa but to no avail. When Kasa tried to kill the exchanged baby, it transformed into goddess Durga and warned him that his death had arrived in his kingdom, and would come back to punish Kasa for his sins. That Kasa would find no peace and keep thinking about his end, she said that she could kill him then and there, but Kasa's end had to be timely, and then the goddess vanished. However, Kasa was certain that the prophecy may not be entirely true given that if his slayer was born inside the prison, he would have surely killed him. With a slight relief, Kasa finally freed Vasudeva and Devi, and let them live in a separate palace. After some days, Vasudeva shared what happened on the night of Krishna's birth, and though Devi was sad, she was relieved to hear her son was safe. Days later, news of Mandraja and Yashoda's son's birth reached the kingdom, people were gushing about the unique twinkle in the child's eyes, about how he was always happy and how his mere presence spread joy and cheer all around. Krishna grew up unaware of his destiny, far away from all the chaos of Mithra, in Gokul, with Nanda Baba and his wife Yashoda, as his foster parents.